filming New Nightmare was my favorite project I think I ever got to work on. Uh, just being seven and being in a Freddy movie was, uh, was incredible because Freddy was kind of like a, a pop culture superhero at the time, which is weird because he's a, a movie monster, a horror icon. Um, I had never even seen any of the movies at the time when I auditioned for it, but I knew exactly who he was. He was everywhere. It, it was like getting to play every day on set. I remember a, a good portion of filming. Um, I remember the set that was uh, the hell set at the end. It was really large. It was all one room that connected and had side rooms and the detail that went into it, it must have taken forever. And I think a lot of stuff maybe never even made it into the film. Um, it looked different in person than it did how they ended up cutting it. The certain doors actually went to different areas. Um, but, you know, in between takes or during lunch, you could run through and it was totally empty. And it was just really cool. It was like a, a really twisted, dark Chuck E. Cheese or something. One of my Oddly, one of my stronger memories of Wes was when we first met, it was before we started filming, and he had a, I guess like a pre-production party where everybody met, and uh, it was at his house in the Hollywood Hills, and I was the only kid there, and he was really kind and, and thoughtful to take the time to spend some time with me among all of the adults who he probably had plenty of things to attend to and talk about, and, but you know, he, he really would check in with me throughout the party, uh, he, he had SimCity on his computer, like the original SimCity, and I had never played, and he was teaching me how to play, and then he'd come back and check in and see how my city was doing, and then I'd pause and come hang out, and then go ask him a question, like, how do you build the thing, and go back. It's kind of irrelevant, but, but it was sweet. Like, I, I'll definitely hold on to that, you know. Of the Freddy films, this is what I'm told, I don't know, of course this is what I'm going to be told because I was in it, but it seems like it's a fan favorite. It's one of the ones that really stands out, which I'm so happy to have been a part of. Yeah, it's been, it's been a pretty big part of my life. I don't really think of it day to day as an adult, but if I focus on it specifically, yeah, I, I have the park in my backyard, I grew up with it. It was great for birthday parties, I'd have all my friends over, we didn't even have to go to the park, we'd just go into the house for cake. We don't have to drive to a park for it, you know? It was just right out back and uh, uh, yeah, yeah, it was pretty special. The last time I watched the movie, if I'm, if I'm being honest, was um, probably a long time ago. Like I have five years or more. I don't know if I sat and watched the whole thing. It might have been on or somebody was watching and I watched some of it, mm -hmm. but I didn't finish it. So it'll be fun to kind of dive back in and, and refresh. Um, is that in frame right now? Yeah. Okay, sure. good. Yeah. Can I? Oh yeah, my God. Good. Yeah. So, yeah. So my mom has, she was like heartbroken when I told her I needed this to take it out of the case. It was really funny. She kept it in storage. Uh, and yeah, we, we were able to get three of them. The, this was the, the one that was on camera with the slashes. I think there was probably more than one. Um, but they gave me this one, and then we had a, a couple other clean ones as well. And, uh, you know, for years I didn't think about it. It was cool to have, but it's like, whatever, you know. Um, but now I'm, I'm appreciative that, you know, she kept them nice and, and kind of stored them because it is, it is kind of a cool thing. Earlier this year, Cecil approached me and uh, kind of just was picking my brain about the character and, and thoughts on it, and which was fun. It was interesting. He had, like, unique questions, which... Uh, I found uh, refreshing. I didn't necessarily think too much of it. And then he mentioned he had a, an idea for like a reboot, refresh, what if, you know, what would be happening today in that universe. And that was fun. I hadn't really considered anything like that. And uh, definitely, you know, enjoyed playing with the idea. Um, and then it was months later at another Mad Monster convention. I saw him again and uh, he handed me a script and said, what do you think of this? Like, do you, if you have time, read it. And I was kind of taken aback, like, whoa, that's, okay, let's see. And uh, it's a fun idea. I think, there, I think there's something there. I think there's a lot of opportunity right now for fan films and, and there's, there's a thirst for Freddy and horror. And I think it's something that could be really special. I'm not sure, if I'm being totally honest, I'm not sure what to think because I don't know 
I don't know what the fan reaction is going to be. I think it's fun and it's, it's a cool experience to come hang here and, and do this. And I'm just going to enjoy myself and, and play. And if there's something to it, if people really click with it, that would blow my mind. That's crazy. If not, no worries. Like this is, this is a cool adventure regardless. As far as I know, this is the first time anybody has actually wrote a script for reprising this, this character, this universe, um, which I found pretty exciting. Yeah, I probably briefly considered the idea, but more of a, a joke, like, oh, what if? But, I, but to actually sit and consider, you know, okay, what if this world continued on? Where would things be? And what, what potential could happen? And surprisingly, there's, there's a lot there. I think Freddy's, uh, in my opinion, I, I'm, of course I'm biased because I was in it, but even before then, Freddy was always my favorite of like the horror, the big horror guys. Um, and I'm, I'm surprised nothing has really popped up yet uh, since the last films. I think there's a lot of room to play with the Dylan character because ultimately who's the same person as they were when they were seven. I mean, there's going to be some things possibly, but it, it could go a lot of different directions. And I love what Cecil did with the script of how the original New Nightmare was so meta. And nowadays, modern audiences are used to that, where at the time, that was kind of one of the newer ones that was exploring that. So to be able to expand on that in a modern sense while being able to tip the hat to the the original is is really fun, and I, I loved what he the ideas he had with the script for that. I think any time you film a dream sequence is is fun because you have room to play, you have room to uh, make mistakes, but because it's a dream, you you're given a bit of leeway, and the audience gives you leeway. So being able to play in that zone and push boundaries, and we can always pull it back. I think there's a fun Fun, fun space there. I'm excited. I'm also a little hesitant to play. It's very strange how life imitates art, that Dylan is an actor like his mother, which totally makes sense in the script. There's so many, there's, there's like a lot of parallels in this that's like, all right, if I start having nightmares during this, I'm gonna, <laughs> it's gonna be an issue. I think Dylan can uh, do a little more damage to Freddy as an adult, because I was seven. I had a few moments where I got to, to get at him, but uh, to really go toe to toe as an adult, Freddy's gonna try to get in his head, but uh, he's not a kid anymore, so I think there's, there's a real battle there brewing. I think this is, this is a passion project by fans that really know the series and that are going to do everything possible to honor it. And I think if you're a Freddy fan, I really hope and want to present the best project possible and give the fans what they wanted, which is more Freddy, which has been a long time coming, I think. <laughs> <laughs>